The apartment building here in Bristol is being cleaned, but it's still a disaster. The owner says that his tenant, who he had trouble evicting, did all the damage. He's reported the incident to the Bristol Police Department. I've had vandalism before, but this is the worst I've had. Building owner David Haberfield says he owns about 36 properties. His tenant moved in in 2018 and paid rent in the beginning. But things changed after Haberfield says the tenant started using several parking spots to fix cars, forcing Haberfield to evict him. We asked him to move the cars multiple times, like dozens of times, and he ignored us or didn't take us seriously. We finally towed a car, and he was so upset that I towed his car away that that was it, and he never paid rent again. Haberfeld says he filed for eviction after about two months without pay, but the pandemic halted the process. So I hesitated because I, I knew him. Haberfeld posted pictures of the damage on Facebook, naming the renter as the culprit. That person has denied the damage. We reached out to him but have not heard back. We were Facebook friends until yesterday, and he responded. And uh, he said, oh, I didn't do that, and I'm claiming insurance fraud, and he said that I'm a bad guy. Haberfield doesn't know about damage to plumbing or electric, but expects to pay twelve dollars to $15,000 to fix. The owner says the kitchen should be the most expensive to fix, but you can see some of the damage here in the room. There's trash on the ground, paint splattered on the wall. It looks like an egg was smashed against the wall here, and the window was busted out. Todd Panette was hired to fix up the apartment. It was a disaster. I mean, furniture, clothing, Everything you can imagine. It was just a total disaster. I feel horrible for the landlord. Haberfeld says the process was delayed by the eviction moratorium, which was extended by the CDC on Monday. It prevents the eviction of tenants who are unable to make rental payments. Originally set to expire March 31st is now extended through June 30th. I would love for tenants and landlords to unite against the eviction moratorium because it hurts tenants just as much as it hurts landlords. There's a lot of tenants that really should be evicted. Um, and this is an extreme example of one of them. The building owner says there are exceptions to the eviction moratorium. He says if you haven't paid rent in over six months, you can be evicted. Again, the Bristol Police Department is investigating the incident. Reporting in Bristol, Shara Taylor, Fox 61 News.